So our next hubster is Final hubster. Nina, yeah. and she goes by Boston Tour Guide. I like to think of Meet Boston as your tour guide, yes. okay? And Nina does it better than anyone else. Hey girl, let's see it. I am so excited to be showing you guys around the South End and Back Bay today. This is my neighborhood. I have lived here since I graduated college. There are so many hidden gems in this neighborhood and I cannot wait to show you guys around all of my favorite spots in this place that I love to call home. We're gonna start at Greystone, which is my favorite coffee shop in the South End, and you're gonna see why. I remember everyone in the South End being so excited when Greystone opened in late 2020. Not only is it the most gorgeous cafe, but it has this awesome walk-up window, which is such a fun activity to do with friends, with neighbors. It really brings the whole community together. Now that I've grabbed a little pick-me-up, we're going to head on to our next location, which is Rainbow's Pottery Studio in Back Bay. You guys, I have always loved painting pottery, but there is something truly special about this pottery studio. Ali, the owner, puts so much attention to detail into every aspect of this studio. From the decor, to the music, to the pieces, she's truly so passionate about what she does. I am here with Ali, who is the owner of Rainbow's Pottery Studio on Newbury Street. Ali, how long have you been on Newbury Street? I have been here now for two years, after we transitioned from Beacon Hill, where we birthed the business 13 years ago, so it's been super fun. We have lots of regulars, which is wonderful. Over 60% of my clients are returning customers, and I'm very, very, very proud of that. But then we also have like the tourists, and then the people who've just moved to Boston, looking to make friends. We do events all the time. Even tonight, you're having a Taylor Swift day? That sounds so much fun. Yes, every Tuesday, Taylor Swift Tuesday, six to nine. Picking out your piece, painting it with friends, catching up, and the best part is how they all get to talk with one another and put our devices down. and use our hands for art, which is such an important thing to do. We were so excited with how our pieces turned out, but honestly just loved spending time with each other and everyone at Rainbow's Pottery Studio. Now onto our last stop of the day. If you love live music like me, you're in for a treat. The Beehive has been part of my regular rotation since I moved to the South End, not only because of its gorgeous atmosphere and delicious cocktails, but because of its amazing live music. Every Tuesday through Sunday, the Beehive hosts different local bands. From bluegrass to soul to reggae, there's something for everyone. And how could I forget about the food? I mean, look at this octopus. We got the tuna tartare, the truffle cauliflower, and we couldn't not get the New York strip. Quick mirror selfie, one more cocktail, and a little bit more live music before the night was over. I mean, listen to how good this band was. <laughs> By the time we had left, everyone was mingling and the vibes were immaculate. And that's a wrap on my day in the South End and Back Bay. I had so much fun showing you guys around my neighborhood. Until next time, Boston Tour Guide.